Is David Doe being criticized for hanging out with Toby, the pastor? Hmm? And the Christian body are also criticizing Toby as well for bearing the name pastor. Instead, Toby is too worldly to be a pastor. To be too, they like bling blink. To be too, they go clubs. To be too, get many cars, fancy cars. To be too, get rugged guys around them. To be, they make friends with worldly people. Why? Why is Toby like that? And he call himself a pastor. The word pastor is a title. And the title comes with a lot of respect. So I kind of like understand why people are not really that happy about Toby. Because for instance, you cannot call yourself doctor so, 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 without reading, you know, going through the going through school and gaining the, the knowledge of a doctor. And you cannot call yourself a barrister. Without going through the school, you might get even you might be able to be arrested. So also a pastor. But nowadays, pastor no get school now. Anybody can claim to be a pastor. Anybody can claim to be a pastor. I might just know some few verses in the, the Bible and I say I'm a pastor. So for you to be a pastor, you must know the verses of the Bible. But when it comes to now deeper into this pastoric thing, hmm, that is when it comes about uh, living like Jesus Christ, doing things like exactly like Jesus Christ. But how many pastors? They do things like Jesus Christ. How many pastors, they behave the way Jesus Christ they behave? Instead of the pastors to behave exactly the way Jesus Christ behave, the pastor will tell you, say, well, that one, I want to make all pastors, they suffer. That's the word they usually use. So, how dare you criticize Toby? If Toby had come to church to start spraying money, Eh, uh -huh, criticize them. But how many of them are pastors for Nigeria they spray money for church? But you know if he criticize them. You know, people have never spoken of people spraying money in church for Nigeria as bad thing before. Pastor Toby decided to celebrate his birthday outside the church. Whatever he does outside the church is his business. When it comes to the church, to the church, may be viewed as church, then start hosting parties. And David Doe coming there to perform, I will openly criticize him. But he has done none of that. We are, go, we are still going to revisit that matter. Let's talk about this other pastor who criticized waiting the thing that uh, Peter Obi said about ninth, ninth VG. They say ninth prayers, VG, not the same thing. Okay, any one, but ninth VG. <laughs> Every day on the internet, you see someone say, instead of spending all this time in church, having vigils every day. Which church do you know that has vigils every day? Some I know, I know church may they get VG every day from my area, one small church. Every night, they disturb my ear. I know of church that does VG every day. So if a church knows they do VG every day, that one means say, other churches know they do. No to say, show me a church. There are many church who does VG every day. I have VGs every day for a season, but no church has VGs every day. Please don't get me wrong. I have profound respect for the person who said this. It is part of my privileged rules in Christ and in the body of Christ to set the record straight on some things like this. If churches don't have VGs every day, how often is too often? Twice a week? Thrice a week? Do you realize if you saw someone who goes to the gym every day, you won't think he's wasting economic hours? Don't you see that the bias is hidden? If you saw someone who hung out with his friends thrice a week, you say it's good work-life balance. But someone who goes to church thrice a week, we say we need to be more productive as a nation. Pensi me, they go be a parlor many times and it's day productive. Yes, so. Yes. It's just that church now business, Abi. Church now business means they put money to. You know they get anything in return. God do not need your money to bless you. He only need your worship. But nowadays, church need your money in order for them to preach for you. They say, no, we are not asking um, money directly. But we are systematically asking money to donate money to beautiful so, 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 
to donate money to sponsors so, 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 so. indirectly 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 now there's churches do not say we need to feed give us our money most churches do not say so but indirectly psychologically they will say it so when you go to beer parlor go to gym you know you are getting services in return now you are getting services in return eh? god bring uh, the gospels not to uh, seek anything from you it's just to worship me follow the gospel then i will give you something in return god will give you something in return he will give you his mercy now mercy god will give people god do not guarantee you nothing go and read your bible quran very well god do not guarantee you nothing god guarantee you his mercy because no matter as you go to church, you go to most risk. If God says no go enter the heaven, no go enter the heaven. Because you, you are not you cannot be so bold to say, Oh, I go make heaven. Any pastor may tell us I go make heaven, eh? He no go make heaven. Let me talk. Because it takes only God mercy eh, to bless you. Now only God mercy. That is what we are praying for. Mercy from God. God have mercy upon us. So it, you have a better chance of getting God mercy if you abide by his regulation. That's just it. And foremost is the gaslighting for me. Nobody who has been in government, past or present, has the right to make such a comment. For God's sake, if the people don't go to church, have you provided jobs for them? Where are the jobs? I say this with all sense of humility. Please don't get it. <laughs> have you provided a uh, 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 job for them? That's exactly what we are talking about. Why are we so focused on all those things and then forget that there is no job? Instead of us to fight for job, we are going to God watching centers to fight for job. And you guys do not preach to us that God say, walk, 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 and I will bless the work of your hands. You, you guys will remove the chapter that said, God say, remove your bad lead, leaders. Now, no go tell us that one. Now to get money, raise up your phone. If you believe, you will get international alert. Say, Janet Bank, Fidelity Bank, I direct you to transfer money into my phone. Yes, I've seen such prayers before. You know what? You say money go enter your bank account. No be fraud be that. And God do fraud. Can God do fraud? Sometimes the level of output in my life in one month, if it was someone else's highlight for a whole year, you've tried. If all you do in a year is to release an album, you've tried. You have to understand I have like five full-time jobs. I believe in productivity, but please don't let anyone talk down on your devotion, your faith in the Lord. Protect it with all you have. Don't let anyone talk you out of your covering. Pray I got you here. Stick to it, though. I beg, see, you know, they're going to twist it now that they are trying to stop people from going to church or stop people from praying. There is difference between spending your entire time praying, even God knows evil like himself, spending your entire time praying and meanwhile you don't have food to eat. Gone are all those days, when miracle day, when you go day inside room, food go vanish, come. It doesn't happen now again. It doesn't. Say, person, you carry one bag of rice for house. The bag of rice not the finish. For years. How? It doesn't happen. It doesn't stop you from praying. It doesn't stop you from... Uh, from work. There are so many things God wants us to do. God wants us to live. Live your life. And also worship me. You can do both. You can do both. You can Worship God and also live your life. Worship God and also work. Don't spend your entire time. We all believe the only sense of worshiping we have to worship God there eh, is just to go to church, go to mosque and pray. As a, if we leave the mosque and leave the church, we are no longer worshiping God till we go back. You worship God by providing for your family. It's an act of worship. You worship God by selling to others to eat. It's an act of worship. You worship God 
by being serious with your life is an act of worship. You worship God by being respectful to your customers, by being, being coming on time to your work, by being obedient to your work. You worship God. It's about time they start, they start teaching us different ways of worshiping God. You, you worship God by going to that your office and doing the right thing. You are worshiping God. We do not preach to people that there are different ways that we can worship God than just being in the church and being in the mocks. Because immediately after those people leave the church and the mocks, they, they're like they rewear their wickedness. We have to start. Well, if you not like me, I understand though. If you not like me, I don't understand. In fact, as a married man, as a married woman, you worship God by having a, a sexual relationship with your wife and your or your husband. It's an act of worship. And God blesses you for, for it. Well, concerning Pastor Toby and Davido, I don't see the answers of you guys calling out to them. You understand? You know, that this once we don't get money, people just follow money. But it's just that he didn't do that in church. But if I say that, uh, in the right, right sense, uh, in the right sense, uh, um, if the word pastor is being respected. Many pastors, including pastors, to be, shouldn't be calling themselves pastors. But unfortunately, you know they live in a world, now living in the world, the word pastor is misrepresented. So, how will you have man to criticize one and not criticize the other? The other one get two rows where they criticize the your own. The other one, they hang out with politicians. See, they praise politicians. See, they say praise God as well. They say, eh, hey, you do anything wrong. Pastor Toby, now they hang out with the video. You say you did something wrong. Nah, your double standard too much. It's too much. Stop it. Bye, guys.